Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to sit down with you guys and I wanted to talk about how I stay positive, you know, because naturally I'm a very pessimistic person and I see the negatives before the positives and there's always that little bit of like a hump that you have to get over so that way you can move on and not be so overwhelmed. So I've written down a few things in my notebook about some of the things that I want to touch on. So without further ado, I don't want to make this video super long and rambly, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so before we get started into the tips that I've written down, I kind of want to just talk about like what being positive is to me. Now I know a lot of people have different you know definitions of what positive is, but I think that the misconception of being a positive person is that you're happy all the time. And that's just not realistic for the real world. It's just, it's not going to happen. So lowering your expectation that being a positive person doesn't mean that you have to be positive all the time. It just means that in certain situations that you find a way to have a good attitude about something or to find something that is positive and kind of focus on that instead of focusing on the negatives and letting it overwhelm your whole life. So I kind of want to jump into my tips and this is something that I've learned over the last year or so, especially in the last like six months I would say. And the biggest thing that I have found that really helps me stay positive is taking time out of my day to do stuff that makes me happy. So for those of you who don't know, I am an athlete at Alabama and I'm a full-time student. So there's a lot of things that I have to get done. I have very little time to do stuff other than, you know, school and my sport. So I've learned in the last, you know, three or four months that I have to take time to stop, sit down, do whatever it is that makes me happy. Even if it's just like sitting down and filming, I really enjoy kind of doing this and getting better at it and I, and I like it. So once I do that, once I've taken an hour, two hours or whatever, 30 minutes, to do whatever it is that makes me happy, I find that I have such a more positive outlook on the tasks at hand. So if I were to just gone to school for three hours, went to practice for three hours, came home, went straight into homework or went straight into work or, or whatever I needed to get done, then I would be miserable and I would be sitting around at 10 o'clock going, wow, the whole day is wasted, I can't do anything, I didn't do anything that made me happy today. And you know, sometimes, like let's be real, Sometimes that happens and you don't really have a choice and you have to get things done and you're, you know, the day was of, was filled with things that you didn't want to do, but that's just the way it is. So, but on the days where you can make time, make time. I posted this a little while ago on my Instagram, my lifestyle Instagram, which is just at honestly Angelina. And I talked about how I had had a really bad day and I had taken an hour to go out and do what I wanted to do. And I was a little bit creative, I tried to film a video, and I took some pictures with my sister, and I just had time to myself to do things that made me happy instead of, you know, being super miserable and having a rough day and then going straight into homework. I would have, A, probably procrastinated and done nothing that had to do with my homework, or the assignments that I had to get done, I would have done with like probably 70% of my full energy, attention, and focus. So once I had done that, I had been I was able to go into my schoolwork with a positive attitude thinking because you know, I already did what I wanted to do. I took time out to do it. Now I can zone in on these things and get those done. The second thing that I wanted to talk about, I've been kind of doing. I'm not that great on it um just yet, but it's like reading or saying words of affirmation and um there's actually those little things that you can like stick on your wall that like you can that say things. Um, I have one in my bathroom, like right against, like right behind my mirror. So I see it every morning when I get up and it's saying, you know, always, you know, think about something. What does it say? Hold on. So it says, always believe that something amazing is about to happen. So I think that's really good for me to read in the morning while I'm getting ready because, you know, sometimes I know for a fact when I get up that it's just going to be a really miserable day. I have a lot of things I got to get done. I'm probably not really feeling it. And I think just like having that optimism in your life and just on a daily basis thinking, okay, you know, I never know what is going to come to me today. So I might as well have a really good attitude about it because I have to get the things that I have to get done anyway. So I might as well be in a good mood and always anticipate something wonderful is going to happen. And I feel like if you're always being negative and you're always, you know, into yourself and just really like complaining and, you know, whatever, you kind of don't notice the little things that happen on a daily basis that are really good. You know, if you're in a really bad mood and let's just say like you're going through the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee and, you know, you're in such a bad mood and somebody 
has like paid for your mood like the, your meal ahead of you because that's happened to me a couple of times and I've always like if I've always realized that if I was sitting there and I was just like really like just really down and like not whatever I would have never noticed like wow that person took time out of their day money out of their wallet to do something nice for me and I think that's kind of like a weird explanation and to kind of go along with my point but if you're not positive then you kind of miss out on all the little things that could happen to you and they kind of just pass you by and I think it's really important to have a positive attitude because then you're looking for positive things you're not just like going through the day being like okay one's ten o'clock so I can go to sleep I hope that made sense <laughs> okay another way that I stay positive is leaning on people um, I think people think that positive people are just positive all on their own and they don't need help and I think that's not the case at all especially for me I have like a great support system with my family and with my friends and so I actually have my sister here at school with me so we kind of lean on each other and if I have a bad, a bad day I, she's probably the first person that I call and you know I just think having people who force you to be better um, are really important to have in your life even if that person like tells you like how it is straight so let's say I'm having like a negative attitude about something and I pick up the phone and I call my dad and you know he just tells me like I gotta just get it together like you need to suck it up buttercup and just go get whatever you need to get done done and move on with the day and then you could be happy afterwards but if I'm sitting there and I have a friend who's just like you know I'm upset I'm miserable and I'm complaining and they're complaining and I'm complaining then we're just kind of doing this back and forth thing and nothing actually gets done Okay, so I want to I'm just put this over here. I haven't even finished my coffee from this morning. I want to go into my Pinterest and I have like everybody knows that they have like quotes saved um, on your Pinterest board, or at least I do. Uh, so I like looking at these sometimes when I'm just in a really bad mood or just need a little bit of encouragement. So I'm just going to read a couple of my favorite to you guys. The first one that I pop up that I really, really like is, um, it says, believe you deserve it and the universe will serve it. And I think having a positive attitude and putting positive energy out into the universe, mm -hmm. it has like a boomerang effect and it'll come back to you. So, you know, they always say like karma is a whatever and everything that goes around comes around. So they mean that too in like positive terms. So if you were to be positive and then you are to put positive energy out into the world or you do something nice for somebody, now that doesn't mean expect something nice in return, but know that positive energy attracts positive energy. Okay, and a lot of these are like not super deep, they're just kind of to the point, but these are some of my favorite ones that I've pinned. And this last one is positive thinking evokes more energy, more initiative, and more happiness. So just being positive I think overall is just good for your health, it's good for your career, it's good for your relationship, it's good for your own self-love. So being positive, there's a lot of good things. It's not the easiest thing. I will be truthful. It's not easy to be positive. And sometimes we all fall short of being positive. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And that's okay. And they're, and I'm not here to tell anybody that they have to be positive all the time because I know I'm not. That's it for this video, guys. Please let me know what you guys think of more of these sit down like life chit chats um leave that in the comments below if you guys enjoy those kinds of things please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye